you aren't paying attention, a decade can pass in the blink of an eye. And this is why the decade's progress was tracked with milestones, including in the General Assembly, international conferences, World Water Day, the human right to water and sanitation, and themed international years. Why a water decade? After all, today 46 countries still report that half their populations lack improved sanitation, and there are 1.8 billion people still drinking water contaminated with faeces. The mass migration to cities means we need to provide ever more comprehensive water and sanitation coverage, while ensuring that remote rural areas are not forgotten. Not to mention that declining water quality is of increasing concern as human populations grow, industry and agriculture expand, and climate change threatens major change to our hydrological cycle. Well, you did mention it. And the fact that water disasters remain among the most damaging in terms of lives lost and economic damage, yet are still rarely addressed until after the fact. You mentioned that too. So why? Why a drop of water in a lake? Why a decade? Well, water is essential every day and in almost every way for basic development activities. Access to safe drinking water, sanitation and hygiene represent some of the highest development priorities of countries worldwide. Since 1990, more than 2.6 billion people gained access to an improved source of drinking water. And from 1990 to 2012, 2.1 billion people gained access to a latrine, flush toilet or other improved sanitation facilities, and the decade contributed. Today, 64% of countries have developed integrated water resources management plans, now regarded as a vital approach if development is to continue in an increasingly water-scarce world. People are more willing to cooperate over water resources, be they countries, businesses or governments. Water conventions to help people better share water developed during the decade. The Convention on the Protection and Use of Transboundary Watercourses and International Lakes went global in 2013, a year that was dedicated to international water cooperation. The UN Convention on the Law of the Non-Navigational Uses of International Watercourses entered into force in 2014. The two water conventions constitute important breakthroughs in the development of international water law. The UN Watercourses Convention finally provides a universally applicable legal framework to assist the countries and basins to jointly manage their shared resources. We have seen the transformative power of global monitoring, reporting, information gathering. The decade has shown how documented evidence of successes, efforts and areas that need more work can be compared country to country. This creates peer pressure and creates a focus on outcomes to affect change. During the MDG period, monitoring gained profile as an important tool in targeting development funds uh, to achieve international goals. Through the support of the government of Tajikistan, the decade has seen a unique political process evolve in the form of a dedicated platform for contextualizing intergovernmental coordination within the General Assembly. In all these ways, the Decade for Action has contributed to making the Sustainable Development Goals, which now take up the torch for global development until 2030. 2030, I will be 24 years old. What kind of people make the Decade of Action? Action heroes, naturally, but ones with their own particular specialisations, like women's champions, who always say that women shouldn't be treated as a vulnerable group but as a resource that should be valued for their expertise and knowledge. And that when girls leave school early because there are no appropriate toilets for them, nations suffer. These girls are a lost economic resource, when many of them might have grown up to become doctors or teachers with a complete education. And if we empower women, I've seen that they can turn this world upside down. The CEO water mandate has been key in bringing the private sector to see the business benefits of better water awareness. Water was a largely obscure and neglected issue for companies around the world and that has changed dramatically and we see water becoming quite a key issue, not a priority. Today, companies see the sense in a sustainable approach, 
And this is going to benefit everyone. Populations, workers, other water users, ecosystems. Even birds, even frogs. The government of Tajikistan, inspired by the lakes from melting glaciers, they encourage people to share water resources where they span national boundaries. What about the office? The office brought the energy to juggle all these different water balls while bringing all of the others together. Water balls? It's just a figure of speech, but there are a lot more heroes because a decade might pass in the blink of an eye. But by the same token, it's quite a long time. I think I'm confusing. Let's talk about the Sustainable Development Goals then. Included in the SDGs is a dedicated water goal, number six which now looks to ensure water and sanitation for all. Water and sanitation have been a human right since 2010. Everyone has the right to water, no matter where he, she lives. We've gone a long way in the blink of an eye. During the decade, we've recognised that our planet has limits, and that a good way of thinking about this is through the water energy food nexus. By bringing all the water stakeholders to the table, we can better identify opportunities for growth and risks for all. And by taking into account the whole picture, we have a greater appreciation of each other's needs. This is more important than ever since we realised how much of a threat to global security is posed by climate change. What comes after the decade? Scaling up. The SDG for water is within the range of our resources, but it's a more ambitious goal than the MDG was. So we need to invest more. That might mean alternative sources of financing too. But in 77% of countries, public finance isn't going to cover it. We have to make sure new and innovative technologies are used when designing new infrastructure, because these new technologies will scale down costs and make water and energy use more efficient, especially in areas people don't talk about, like wastewater management. Yuck. We need to develop capacity too, by improving our human resources with better training and listening to local experts. All this must be monitored. Policies and partnerships need to be strengthened and improved. Quite a lot happens after a decade then. Like global processes. The decade helped intergovernmental coordination, interagency coordination, raised awareness of water issues, spread knowledge on the decade's themes and fervent action through outreach and stakeholder engagement. That's all then. And cooperation, focusing on tools and the local level, and integrated water resources management through communication campaigns, outreach to stakeholders and developing capacity. And access to water and sanitation through initial planning, communications and advocacy, engaging women and small water operators at local level. It's gone in the blink of an eye, but a decade can have a lasting impact on the future. Mm -hmm.